welcome to you my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction today's video is my five I'm gonna try and stick to five favorite pieces in my power color which is all things purple lilac lavender mauve all the colors in the spectrum I adore lilac if you follow my channel you already know this but let's throw credit to the person who came up with this fabulous video idea Nick from the channel Living Life Loud with NJS. Nick and I, we are absolutely on the same page when it comes to embracing our personal style and doing that through colour in our homes, in our wardrobes, in our handbags, just generally really bounce off each other in terms of outfits. And even though Nick lives in the UK, has different weather, um, is a male, I take a lot of inspiration from how he pulls colors and silhouettes together and he and I have actually done a collaboration of videos on personal style. I'll link those in the description box below and I will also link Nick's video on this very subject in the description box below. Just a little sneaky hint, his power color is pink. And I have to say, he wears it like nobody's business. Hot pinks, pastel pinks, pale pinks, baby pinks, you name it. Next there. My first item has to be my fabulous Fendi Peekaboo ICU in the small size. If you don't know the story about this bag, where have you been? This bag came to me through you guys, my global sourcing team. It did not come to Australia last year and I could not stop thinking about it. What I loved is this turquoise detail. I loved this particular shade of like violet, violetta. That's one I didn't put in the intro. Um, and I just love the fact that this style would eventually smile because that's what I love in the peekaboo design. And so I put it out to you guys to help me. Sarah in the UK, she got hold of Fendi and said, hey, do you think you could order this bag for my friend? And they're like, absolutely. She put me in touch with her sales associate at New Bond Street, who then happily gave me a payment link, sold me the bag. I sent it to Amelia Rose over in Ireland, and then Amelia sent it to me. It truly was a team effort and therefore this bag, not just in looks and usefulness and Fendi um, is special to me, but it's also special to me because of how I came to be owning it. So thanks to everyone. This is my first and favorite violet peekaboo ICU in the small. Now stay tuned because number five is a really tricky one for me to pick considering I had another four or five lilac colored bags to choose from. <laughs> the next piece is a dress and this dress comes from our favorite Australian designer or one of them anyway, Zimmerman. I picked up this dress I believe last year. It's the Lyrebird print in this gorgeous violet color. Um, I'll put some pictures of me wearing it on Instagram up for you to reference. But every time I wear this dress, I feel pretty. The colors in this dress, the fading, a lot of Zimmerman resort wear is actually a lot more affordable than the ready to wear because it's more linen and lighter fabrics. Um, you just need to get a slip for them because they can be a little bit see-through. Um, but this and this, you know, it's just, mm, I love it. I love it. Um, and I'm always on the lookout for lovely pieces um, from Zimmerman, anywhere really, that kind of have a print in them, but also have my power color. So the third piece was hard because, and I might even throw in an honorable mention because, you know, I can make up my own rules, right? But let's go. Number three is my Roger Vivia Bell Vivia Trumpet Pumps. I picked these up on Ukes actually as like a sellout piece and it was lucky that they were in my size. These are my favorite, favorite kind of pumps. Um, I don't buy any other pumps really from any other brand. Roger Vivia is it. It means it's a very expensive hobby to have, but so be it. Um, I've actually got an ongoing wish list at Roger Vivia at the moment, which is just oh, terrifying. And the reality is, am I going to spend three and a half thousand dollars on a few pairs of shoes? Probably not, but I'm just going to admire them anyway. Look at these together. Uh, hello. Is this not a beautiful complimentary match? 
So um, these shoes I wear for work, I wear with jeans, I wear with dresses, um, they're so good, they're so versatile, I am, you know, I do need to cut back because I have damaged the heel, look at this, terrible! I have damaged the heel on those ones, but weirdly, my two pairs of neutral um, shoes in the same style don't have that damage. Why is it that my favourites always get damaged first? But I think you buy shoes to wear and enjoy and love, and that's not going to stop me from wearing these, but I will give them a little polish up and see if I can't make them look a little prettier. The problem with loving these colours is they are seasonal styles, and that means that once they're gone, they're gone, usually. The honorary mention goes to Todd's. These are a pair of Todd's mules I bought back in 2021. They have this Perspex heel. They are the perfect height and comfort level to wear with a pair of cropped pants um, and shorts for the summertime. I just find that this really vivid colour is a great kind of colour to wear on your feet because it draws the eye down. So if there are things you don't want people to look at on the top half of you, it's a good idea to have fabulous shoes. At number four, I'm going to go with another clothing piece. Um, I have a lot in lilac and lavender, but I have to say this set that I have on now, um, I picked up on sale at the Iconic. It's by Fate the Label, and it's both of my favorite colors. It is both lilac and like a raffia with these kind of, you know, golden colored um, bits of foliage on it and I got the shorts and the shirt I was looking for a set to be able to take away with me on my holiday later this year and the first time I wore it I actually dressed it up for like an evening a lunch out look and it looked fantastic I can wear it casual I can do lots of things with this set um, and so I think it's going to be one of the most cheapest and versatile sets that I have bought but I also have a full linen set in lilac. I have a linen blazer, which I wore recently to work. I'll pop them on, you know, up here from my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me over there because it's proof in the pudding that I wear these things um, if the wear and tear was not enough proof for you. So that is number four. Now, now I have to choose between the bags I have left. <laughs> you see my dilemma? <laughs> Which one will I choose? So I have this baguette strap that I can attach to my bags. I have my original lilac mini baguette from the year 2020. It's just a stunning, look at the match. It's such a stunning color. Absolutely beautiful. Then I have the lilac sequin baguette from last year, spring summer, limited edition. I bought this one from my fabulous friend Una, who added it to her collection and then had second thoughts. Uh, it was only released in the US and Japan, I believe. So I feel so grateful to have this one for my collection. Then I have the Fendi Nano Peekaboo because I owned this one and I thought I needed to have them both. Um, <laughs> don't say anything. Then I have my beautiful Fendi Mirror Baguette which is a re-edition celebrating 25 years of the baguette. This one was originally released in 1999. This is the re-edition from 2022 and um, yeah just lavender all through it and then finally we have my first sequin fendi baguette the sex and the city purple rain but this one is purple purple and as much as i love this one for sentimental reasons um and why i bought it for my 40th birthday um this is a purple that i would very very rarely wear very very rarely it doesn't kind of fall in my normal you know spectrum of color so for that reason i'm going to put this one back on the shelf i think i'm going to put this one back on the shelf too even though i love her I've always said that the mini baguette is one of my absolute favorite pieces from Fendi and the one that I recommend to people as their first piece from Fendi because it's both iconic and very practical and great for a day to night moment. But I don't know if this is one of my most favorite. Even though it's not about how often I wear it, I have to say that my Fendi mirror baguette 
from the 25th re-edition. Just, it, it's just insanely beautiful. And I don't wear it very often, but I don't care. This is part of the collector in me. I'm starting to sound like Meredith and Amelia with my collector tendencies, but this was like a moth to a flame. Even though it's not all purple lilac, you can see that most of it is underpinned with these beautiful pearls that are like a mauve kind of lilac colour and there's a lot of lilac through all of the embroidery. A lot of people don't like this bit here but I actually like the fact it has that ugly bit on it otherwise it would just be too beautiful and sometimes things need to be you know brought down a peg or two so as not to intimidate us. Um, but yeah, this one, it's just, it's an absolute work of art. It's stunning, glorious, I love it. And yeah, it would have to be one of my most favourite, in my top five favourite pieces in my power colour, that is purple. So were there any surprises for you? I mean, were you surprised by my power colour? I suppose I could do one on raffia and that kind of vibe as well, couldn't I? But in terms of colours, this truly is the colour for me. Um, I'd love to know what your favourite colour is. If you're a YouTuber, why don't we help Nick out and promote his channel and make this a thing? Why don't you make a video on your five favourite items from your power colour? Because I think that this is something that we could all get behind. Many of us actually have power colours. And I know that Nick tagged a few people in his original video, not as a tag, but just to say, you know, I put the challenge out to you that I love pink the most. So I'm going to um, I'm going to jump on this with Nick and say do this video Connor because I would love to see you do this video. I'd love to see Meredith do this video, Amelia do this video, starred by Gwenny do this video, Autumn Beckman. I'd love to see you do this video because I know you've got a penchant for green. So it would be great to see what your top five picks are in your luxury collection as well. Thanks again, Nick. This is an awesome video idea. I really enjoyed just, you know, bathing in lilac for the afternoon. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Go and check out Nick's video. As I said before, it's linked in the description box below. I put out long format videos on Wednesdays and Sundays, sometimes some extras. I would love to see you back here next time. Until then, ciao.